Biotechnology, through its application in the field of genetic engineering, has been used to develop new medicines and new ways of detecting diseases. As we continue Niha's exciting and informative series on biotechnology, we will explore in this episode the use and impact of genetic engineering on the field of medicine. Biotechnology has been used to produce large amounts of human proteins to treat many illnesses. Genetic engineering provides new approaches in the development of vaccines against the virus that causes AIDS. Proteins for blood clotting that are used to treat hemophilia and those used to treat anemia have also been generated via genetic engineering. Another example is diabetes, where genetic engineering is being used to produce insulin. Human genes have been inserted into bacteria, specifically E. coli, actually, to produce medicines. And of course, the most popular one is insulin. All of the insulin available today is actually genetically engineered via this process. Before, you used to get insulin from pigs. But of course, if you're Muslim or some sectors of Christianity, using insulin from pigs for you would be a big move. And not only that, Pig insulin is slightly, slightly, slightly different from human insulin and some people had allergic reactions to it. But by actually removing the gene from the human gene and putting it into bacteria, you were able to make insulin relatively easy. And not only that too, getting insulin from pig pancreas is a very, very long and complicated and expensive process. And now what you do, you can get a lot of insulin in a small batch in Africa and other places, malaria, another potentially fatal disease, continues to kill millions of children each year. Despite the initial success of some worldwide campaigns against malaria, in recent times the parasite has grown resistant to drugs and insecticides, leading to an increase in outbreaks of the disease. Through the application of genetic engineering, Scientists in India have developed vaccines which currently are effective in treating malaria. One of the most promising yet highly controversial applications of genetic engineering is in the field of stem cell research. What are stem cells? These are cells capable of developing into the specialized cells needed for organs such as the liver and the brain to function or for the functioning of the tissues in the muscles and bones. By injecting genetically modified stem cells into diseased tissues or organs, the cells can regenerate new, healthy cells and so repair the defective organs. Thus, stem cells provide a method of curing conditions such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. However, stem cells are found mainly in embryos and the issue of using human embryos to produce stem cells has sparked major controversy all over the world. At the heart of the debate lies the question, is the human embryo in its first two weeks of existence a potential human being or simply cells grown in an environment that can be used for research without moral considerations? Legislators, politicians, ordinary citizens and even some scientists are also concerned that if stem cell research using human embryos is allowed, it would lead to an explosion in trade of embryos and over across the world. So then, should limits be set on medical research? Or should governments and societies seek to find a balance between medical progress and respect for the rights of the human being? These are some of the tough questions about this area of genetic engineering that are still being debated. There is no denying that advances made so far with genetic engineering in the field of medicine carry the hopes for new medicines, safer vaccines and cures for incurable diseases which cannot be overlooked. Many of the diseases being targeted now are third world diseases so biotechnology is giving some hope to the people in these countries. <laughs>